Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to work the snail and the bottom part of the snail is done using heavy chain stitch and I'm going to show you on the practice hoop here first. I've drawn a couple of lines so that's to indicate the bottom of the snail. One, This line here is shorter than the other and come up at one end and take a stitch down and then come up a stitch length away and go through that stitch, so through the loop here, from right to left if you're right handed, and down into the same hole. If you're left handed, you'll simply go from left to right. So we come up a stitch length away, and this time we're not going to go through this stitch here, we're going to go through the original stitch again and take a stitch down into the same hole. And then come up a stitch length away. And this time you're going to go into this part of the chain. So this part here. So you're missing these, these two bits here and we're going in the top bit and take a stitch down, come up a stitch length away, miss these two prongs here and go through the next bit, take a stitch down, so I'm not going through here, I'm going through that next bit there. Take a stitch down. So if you're left-handed, you'll simply go through in that direction. That's the only difference. So not that bit, the next stitch. So we're going to do this on the uh, snail now, and we're going to do two rows. So we're going to do the top row first, and then we're going to start underneath and do a shorter one for the bottom. So join me for that. So we're using the grey silk for the bottom part and coming up on this side, so on the left hand side. And we're sort of working a, a line under the curly bits I've drawn for the snail. So we're working up towards the head here. So take a stitch. I'm using my crawl needle, even though there's some weaving. So go under that stitch, don't pierce the fabric, and down into the same hole to make a chain. And then up, through that stitch down into the same hole. So not through there, but through the next part. This is a lovely stitch to do once you get used to the action as such. Losing my line a bit now. Do remember though that your blue lines are only a guide. So if we 
could go a bit skew if it doesn't really matter. Maybe one more. So you finish by going into the same hole. Now these here are antennae, which we will we'll do in a minute. So run your thread now across the back, do a few stitches and come up about here. And we're going to do that again and it's going to be harder because to get your needle through, you've just got to be careful. If you struggle, use the eye. Now, if you're left-handed, you might find it easier to start on the bottom because your needle's going through the other way. So you can start on the bottom um, if you wish. So through the first stitch, not through the chain that you've made. Now miss those two prongs and go through the next. And then we're going to sh stop short of the head. Maybe do one more. That'll do. And now you can add, while you've got the thread, your two straight stitches on the top of the head there. And now let's do the, the shell. Now for the snail, what we're going to do is get three threads. So all I've done is split a thread into three and thread it through my needle and come up at the center of the circular lines that I've drawn. And we're going to couch this thread down and then we're going to work on top of it so that we've got some close satin stitches. It's similar in a way to trailing, but you're doing it in, in separate parts. So we're going to couch it down first. So then get another thread and come up close to. And then just anchor it down like that, so anchor down all three. So if you remember to couch down, put the threads that you're couching down to one side so that you can see the line. So I'm coming up on the line here and then to the other side and go down into the same hole or more or less into the same hole. So we're not doing this close now, we're just with the catching stitches, we're just trying to get this, these three threads down in a circle on the line, like that. So every sixteenth of an inch or so, they're quite close to start with, then put a little catching stitch.
so it's a bit tricky to to get going and don't worry if you ignore your lines you just want to circle a spiral if you like I find it easier to go from the outside in You'll be able to turn your work so that it's easier to do from different angles. I'm trying to keep it all in the picture here, so I'm not doing that. And it does get easier as you do more. Don't worry about where these stitches are going. They don't have to be equidistant because you're going to cover them up in a minute. Now when you get to the end, I've got enough thread here to thread up and take my thread to the back and finish off. If you haven't, you'll need to do a lasso. And a lasso means that you've got a, a strong thread with both ends through a large needle. And then you just take your thread, so lasso it in your thread and I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter because it's easier. Take the large needle through to the back and pull and you'll find that your thread goes to the back and then you can finish it off. Now the other thing is you may have noticed that I got quite close to my body here that's fine and it almost doesn't matter if it goes a little bit on top um, because I think shells probably do. We're going to thread up some more FS01 now and do some satin stitch, some fine satin stitch over these lines here. If you don't fancy doing that, it actually looks quite nice as it is, so don't worry too much about that. I've come up in the centre with the same colour and I'm now going to cover completely all of those threads that I've couched down. So it's a little bit fine. You'll need some good light. You're literally going to go round and round them.
very close to as close as you can get so this is effectively a satin stitch And we're covering all those threads that we catch down. I'm getting towards the end now, just persevere and obviously you want to make your last round as neat as possible on the outside edge. And you can finish uh, where your threads, your, your couching threads finish, or you can take it a little bit further in to the snail body, which I think I'm going to do. We'll just do a few stitches there to, to fill in that tiny gap if you've got one. And now we're simply going to put some running stitches in under, under here. Before you put your running stitches, just check that you like your body. I'm just going to put another stitch in there. So I'm going to go into the end um, just to make that a little bit thicker. And that's really um, up to you. And then 
what you want to do is to just put some running stitches in parallel lines as a sort of path that you can imagine the the snail trailing along. You can draw lines to guide you if you wish, obviously. So a running stitch is just straight stitches, leaving a gap equidistant in between. And on the next row, I'm going to put my stitches so that they fall in the gap of the previous row. You may just have to judge it a little bit when you get to the other side. There we go. I might just put another little one at the edges here. But that's your snail. Next, we're going to do one of the butterflies. <laughs> 